Hi everybody, it's Stacy again. Today I'm at the South City Branch and we're gonna be doing some core work. We'll take eight different exercises all together here, learning modifications and cues for how to do it correctly. Then you can continue on your own for another round or two based on your ability level and how much time you have today. We're gonna to start today with some knee tucks followed by side knee tucks. Both of these I'm gonna use a towel. Whenever you're at our branch, you often see us with gliders, but when we're stuck at home, towels or socks are a great alternative. So I'm gonna get on my hands and feet. I've got my towel underneath my shoes, and I'll slide back into plank. I'm gonna start with the knee tuck here, just pulling my knees in and right back out. You'll notice I've got my back nice and flat, not rounded in the upper portion of my back. And as I move in and out, I'm trying to keep my hips at the same height, so we don't want to dip under and down as we go. We're looking to get 15 to 20 of these at the regular knee tucks, and then you can rest. We'll go right into our side knee tucks. These are a little bit more challenging. We're going to bring those knees up to one elbow and back up to the other elbow. We'll do 8 to 10 each side. A little bit of oblique work here. Awesome, always returning back out to that plank. Perfect plank position there at the end. All right, for this next one, we're gonna be in a plank position as we start. Got two options for you today. You can step out lightly for those plank taps. You can make it a small step or a larger step. Those of you who have a little bit more in you, feel free to make that in the air. Get a little glute squeeze. Instead of touching down on the floor, strong, straight arms and shoulders here. Drive that belly button up and in. And come down as you finish up those reps for that one. You're looking to have 10 on each side. Then we'll go ahead and transition down, lying on our stomachs for Superman. Now Superman doesn't feel like a core exercise, but it's necessary to maintain great postural support. So we're gonna lay flat. Extend our arms out long. We're gonna lift up a little bit, pull those elbows in, squeeze the shoulder blades together, back out and down. You can catch your breath while you're down here. A little bit lighter exercise thrown in there, right in the middle. And we're actively thinking about squeezing those shoulder blades and relaxing our neck as we go. We're looking for 12 to 15 of these and then you can rise on up. Good job on those. We're gonna flip over to our V-ups here. The V-ups, you have two choices. You can do one leg at a time or both together. One leg at a time will be slightly easier and together harder. I'll demonstrate both here. Reaching long, we'll reach up to grab that toe. Squeezing my core and exhaling as I reach. For this one, we're going to do 15 to 20 reps total. That 15 to 20 stays the same if you choose a single or if you go double. Good. Job. Our scissor kick here, we're going to lay down. I like to put my hands underneath my hips, press my lower back down and into the mat. Keep that chest open and we'll extend our legs long. Cover them just up off the floor and we'll cross over and back as we drive that belly down and in towards the floor. Good, and exhale as you go. We don't want to hold that breath here. For this one, you're looking for 30 total reps. One, two, three, four. So every time that leg crosses over, it counts as one. You're gonna see on your mat, last exercise belly up here. We're gonna bring those knees in close. Pretend like we're at that leg press machine and push away together, tightening up that midsection and back rest. Exhale, push away and rest. All right, for these, you're gonna do 15 to 20 reps here. Keep those shoulders down and in contact with the ground. Lower back pressing down and exhale as you get long. To make this one slightly easier, you can go straighter up with that leg press. To make it harder, you can put an object in between your knees, a ball, a pillow, a cushion, a stuffed animal, 
Get creative. Good work. We just got one exercise left. Okie doke. Last exercise here. You're going to grab that towel again that you had at the beginning. Some of our branches have something called an ab mat, but when we don't have that at home, folding up a towel is going to work just fine for us. We're going to take that towel and put it in the small of our back and lay back down. I'm going to widen up my legs so my feet are together. For every rep here, I'm going to reach long up overhead and then sit up and touch my toes. As I do that, I'll keep my back down into that towel and come up as quickly as I can. For this one, we're looking for 15 to 20 reps to finish up nice and strong. Big reach back and touch. You should feel good in that core now, but that was just round run. one. I'm gonna invite you to rounds two and rounds three if you've got it in you. Follow those repetition recommendations, take the modifications where you need, and if you forget what you're doing, just pause and rewind. Thanks for joining me today again. My name's Stacy. Thanks for staying with us.